this lesson is on solving multi-step equations. And multi-step equations we call anything that takes more than two steps to solve. So I hope you find this useful. If so, make sure before you leave that you give it a like and a subscribe. And please drop me a comment if you have any. So when we're solving multi-step equations, they can involve distributed property and they can involve combining like terms. They may involve both of those or they may involve just one of those. So here's the steps. Number one, check to see if there's distributed property. And remember what you're looking for with distributed property is something next to parentheses and inside the parentheses you would have two or more things being added or subtracted together. So something like this. That's how you that's what you look for when you're looking for distributed property. So check the equation, see if there's this involved, and if so, do this first. All right? If that's not involved, then go ahead on to step two. And step two is to combine like terms on the same side of the equation if necessary. So there might not be any like terms to combine at all. So you, you could have something like uh, 2x plus 4 plus 3x equals, uh, I don't know, 10. So this has like terms that you can combine together to make this 5x plus 4 equals 10. Now, it says on the same side of the equation, what I mean by that is you can't combine this 4 with the 10 because they're on opposite sides of the equal side. So you can only combine like terms that are on the same side of the equal side. And so once you've done step one and step two, at that point, you should have either a one or a two step equation left. And that's just using opposite operations um, to solve for the variable. And so if you're not familiar with solving one or two step equations, then take a look at my, my videos on that. All right, so let's look at some examples. So step number one is to distribute if necessary. So when we look at this, we see a number next to parentheses, and inside the parentheses, we have a 2 and an M being added together. That's distributed property. So that's what we're going to do first. So the first thing I'm going to do is distribute this 3. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 2 is 6, plus 3 times M is 3M. That equals negative 12. Step two is to combine like terms if necessary. There is nothing here that I can combine together. The six and the three M are not alike. I can't combine them. So now we're on to step three, which is to solve for the variable. So using opposite operations, get the variable by itself. To get rid of this six, remember you do the adding or subtracting piece first. Get rid of this six, I'm gonna subtract six from both sides of the equation. Six minus six is zero. So now I have 3m equals negative 12 minus 6 is negative 18. I have 3 times m, so to get rid of the 3, I do the opposite and divide by 3. This will cancel out because 3 divided by 3 is 1. And negative 18 divided by 3 is negative 6. And as always with equations, the nice thing is you can check your answer. So if I plug in negative 6 for m, let's see if this is equal to negative 12. So I have 3 times 2 plus negative 6. So do the parentheses first, follow PEMDAS. 2 plus negative 6 is negative 4. So now I have 3 times negative 4, which is negative 12, which is what I wanted. So I know this is the correct answer. M equals negative 6. All right, let's look at another one. Step 1 is to, to distribute if the distributive property is there and it is not there. Step two is to combine like terms. So I do have like terms that I can combine here. This 5y minus 2y, I can combine to make 3y. So now I have 3y minus 3 equals 9. Now I just have a two-step equation. So we're going to solve for the variable. So we see minus 3, so we're going to do plus 3. And then we see 3 times y, so we're going to divide by 3. And we do the adding or subtracting first. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides first. I teach my students to draw this line down the middle to remind them that whatever operation I do on one side, I have to do it on the other side of the equation also. 
So those will cancel out. Leaves me with 3y equals 12. So now I see multiplication. I do division. Divide by 3 and divide by 3. And I get y equals 4. So let's go check that. So I have uh, 5 times 4 minus 2 times 4 minus 3. And I'm hoping this equals 9. So that would be 20 minus 8 minus 3. 20 minus 8 is 12. And then 12 minus 3 is 9. So this was the correct answer. Y equals 4. Again, if, if I'm going too fast, just pause it, back it up, and watch it again. All right, so let's look at one more. All right, so this one has distributive property and combining like term. So the first step is to do the distributive property. So that's right here. 5 times 4x is 20x. 5 times 1 is 5. Minus 2x equals negative 13. Step two is to combine like terms. So I can combine the 20x and the minus 2x. So remember, this symbol goes with the 2x. So 20x minus 2x gives me 18x. And I still have the plus 5. And now at this point, I have a two-step equation. So I see plus 5. So I'm going to do minus 5. Let me put my line down the middle here. So I'm doing opposite operations to get the variable by itself. 5 minus 5 is 0. Bring down my 18x. Negative 13 minus 5 is negative 18. I have 8 times x, so I'm going to do the opposite and divide by 18. So x equals negative 1. All right, so last thing, let's check this. So 5 times 4 times negative 1 plus 1 minus 2 times negative 1. So i got to follow PIMDAS, so I need to do this parentheses first. So 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Still in the parentheses, negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to multiply each of these and then I'll subtract them. So that gives me negative 15. And then minus negative 2 which that's the same thing as negative 15 plus 2. And that comes out to negative 13, which is what I wanted. So I did get the correct answer. All right, so again, if you found this useful, leave me a comment, um, give it a like and a subscribe. And until next time.